Hello again, Fishalots. Johnny Fishalot here, and let's get straight into the video with the five white perch baits that you need to know this winter to catch yourself some fish. Let's get into it. And of course, the first bait that we're going to jump right into is bloodworms. This is an absolutely go-to bait for most areas around the country, including where I live in New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia, where I'm primarily fishing for white perch. Now, I'm fishing for white perch primarily in secondary rivers and marsh systems with brackish water that are running into larger bays. So these types of areas are absolutely perfect for bloodworm fishing. Bloodworms give off a lot of scent. They're bloody. They're everything that you want in a bait and they absolutely work awesome to catch everything. Now, one of the disadvantages of bloodworms is they can absolutely be shaken off a hook. So one of the primary mistakes that I see people make is they take a hook, they glob on a bunch of bloodworm on there, the perch will come by, they'll grab an end, they'll shake off the bloodworm, and you're going to lose your bait. Bloodworms are pretty expensive too, so you just won't, don't want to willy-nilly start throwing them out there and have everything stripping them off your hooks. So, like I explained in previous videos where I showed you exactly how to catch these white perch with bloodworms in certain locations, you really want to pull it off just like this. You want that bloodworm perfectly put on the hook. You don't want a whole lot hanging off. You don't want to give these fish the opportunity to grab the end and shake it off. These fish are pretty smart after all. So bait your bloodworms just like this so the fish has to commit to the bloodworm and get the hook in his mouth in order for him to get a nice tasty meal. And of course, that'll eventually lead to a hook in the face and dinner for you. <laughs> and like I said, I'm typically using bloodworms in the areas that I live and fish. But if you're fishing somewhere like up the Patuxic River in Maryland or the Potomac or different areas around the country, a lot of good baits that are not bloodworm would be your night crawlers, other insects, and of course, shrimp. Which brings us to our next awesome bait, and that is grass shrimp. Especially in areas like I'm fishing in marshes, grass shrimp are actually one of the primary sources of food and forage for white perch. They actually position themselves in a way that when the tide runs out or the tide runs in, those fish are in deep holes, on ledges, on the back ends of points, in eddies, so that when grass shrimp and other invertebrates are being brought by them, they're able to come out and eat them. And so grass shrimp is absolutely a perfect bait to catch these fish as well. Now, grass shrimp are pretty much available in bait shops. You can catch them yourselves. Uh, they are a little bit difficult to keep alive, so newly dead shrimp will work just fine, as well as live grass shrimp. And for those fish lots out there that do prefer using grass shrimp, don't be afraid to go to the local supermarket and just pick yourself up some shrimp right for the for human consumption area of the supermarket. Just make sure that it's whole shrimp, the shell is intact, and of course, make sure it's never been frozen. So this actually is a really good method of supplementing expensive grass shrimp that you would otherwise buy in a bait shop and then have to worry about keeping the shrimp alive and all that other kind of stuff. And a quick tip here for if you're using store-bought shrimp, okay? Now, one of the things I absolutely love to use is number four or number six wide gap hooks. I use these for carp fishing. They're absolutely phenomenal and they work great for things like perch fishing. And here's my hook right here and you can tell how small this is. So again, you don't want the fish to just grab the ends of this and shake it off just like bloodworm. And so what you want to do here is you want to remove the tail piece of the shrimp. Again, you don't want the perch to grab the ends of anything and take it off. So we're going to break this off. Okay, just like that. And so we separate the tail and now we have this little tail piece with the shell still on it. And that's going to be great for baiting up a hook. And so now you take your little piece of shrimp here and you can tell you have your number four wide gap hook and you're literally going to bait the whole thing onto the hook and then make sure the hook comes out of the shell just like that. So now that, that hook is coming out of the shell of the shrimp, it helps to secure that shrimp to the hook and it makes it harder for the perch to shake it off. Now you can tell this little piece of shrimp for the perch to come by and eat this little shrimp, they're going to have to commit and take that hook. And another bait that I absolutely love to use is gulp. I very rarely leave anywhere without bringing some kind of gulp baits. And these right here are is no exception. These are gulp minnows right here. These are gulp alive one inch minnows. And these are perfect for catching perch. Perch absolutely love eating mud minnows and other small fish 
for forage. And gulp also comes with these little guys too. These are gulp grubs, as you can tell. These are just one inch twisty tail grubs and these are also great baits. And another great bait to use are these Berkeley gulp honeycomb worms or these Berkeley gulp grubs right here. And they're basically just little grubs and they fit on your hook just like normal worms. Now the added benefit to this is they're gulp baits, so they're gonna stay on the hook much better than blood worms or night crawlers or any other type of worm. So I do, oops. And just like I explained in my other videos, I never leave home without my gulp baits. And these are extremely versatile. You could put this on a small hook and bobber and fish it under docks if you want. You can use them as a high-low rig or on a high-low rig, the same as you would use blood worms or grass shrimp. You can put a jig head on here and fish them slow right on the bottom if the current allows. These are just great overall baits. They stay on the hook a little bit longer than your night crawlers, blood worms, and grass shrimp. And you know, at the end of the day, these actually turn out to be a little bit cheaper than if you were to use actual live bait. So these are a couple of wins here all over the spectrum for gulp baits if the fish are willing to bite them. And something to keep in mind for your gulp baits is that once you open this, you actually have to put it in some kind of waterproof container, something where liquid literally can't come out of the container. And that's because once you open this and put it back in your tackle box, this liquid will literally leak all over everything. And I don't know what they put in it, but it's like acid for hooks and lures and stuff. It will just eat through and make a mess out of everything. So if you are using gulp, make sure to bring a small little Tupperware container or something, something where liquids absolutely cannot get out of it. And you can keep your gulp baits forever like these little guys in here. Our next option, which is gonna save you a ton of money and you literally can't get it off the hook, and that is fish bites. I absolutely love fish bites. They're a great alternative to any bait out there. And the great thing about them is, is once you bait your hook with these guys, you literally can't get it off. This is a perfect lure or bait for exploratory fishing. I use this all the time on docks I'm not familiar with. Instead of just going through a ton of money in blood worms or shrimp or whatever else is available, you just get these fish bites. Everything eats them. My favorite color or scent is red and blood worm. Obviously, right, my go-to bait is blood worm, so my go-to fish bites is also blood worm scented, and this could just last you all day. Here's some video of me fishing in Virginia where I'm catching spot, we even catch a toadfish. Everything eats these baits. You can bring this in your tackle box at all times. You don't have to worry about it spoiling or going bad, similar to gulp, and you don't have to worry about any juices in here leaking all over the place. This is like a dry bait. It comes with a ton of scent, and it's absolutely fantastic for staying on your hook. All right, and next up, what we're gonna talk about is one of my favorite ways to catch any fish, and that is lure fishing. There is a ton of lures out there that can catch you white perch, so I'm gonna talk to you briefly about some of my favorites. And first up, of course, is spoons. I absolutely love spoons for fishing. This is a sumo spoon. I use this all the time to catch bait for catfish, including white perch in the Potomac and Patuxic rivers. But these are absolutely great for perch fishing in the marshes and things like where I fish currently in New Jersey. These are flutter spoons. I absolutely love any type of spoon or flutter spoon. You jig them, you can cast them. They're absolute dynamite for catching a variety of fish including perch. Now, next up, of course, is your spinning type of jig head baits, right? So this is a Roadrunner that I use for crappie fishing and bluegill fishing. Absolutely perfect for catching perch. This is a beetle spin. You can pick one of these up at Walmart for something like a buck or two. Um, again, if it catches crappie or bluegill or something, I often find that they're really good at catching perch as well. And then, of course, you just have your good old-fashioned spinning bait type of lures right here, just like this. Again, I use this for bass, crappie, bluegill, perch, uh, just great overall baits for covering a lot of water and catching some aggressive fish. And there's nothing more fun than pulling a lure through the water and having a perch just absolutely mash it. Now, another great lure that we need to talk about are the power baits, right? I already talked about gulp, and gulp are great baits, but there's also power bait worms that are just awesome. So you can take these power bait worms that you see here, you could chop off the tails, you wanna bait them up the same way I showed you to bait them up blood worms, you don't want too much hanging off the side, those fish will commit to those lures, and you could catch a ton of perch off of red blood worm colored power baits. Power baits come with a ton of scent, 
same as gulp, and they just catch a ton of lures. And you can see my familiar face here. You love sending me these kinds of pictures when I'm stuck at work. And when you're like me and you have a lot of retired friend fish lots out there, they typically send you a ton of great pictures while you're stuck at work, and they're just killing fish off of things like these power baits right here. And then of course there's blade baits, which is absolutely perfect for perch because they're both very small, which a perch is still gonna hit it. And of course they come in heavier weights, which allows you to get further into the water column, get into that perch's strike zone and trigger bites. And knowing all these great tips and tricks for lures and triggering bites for a perch won't actually do you much good unless you know how to find the fish first. So if you really want to up your perch fishing game, go ahead and click on this end card right here. We get deep on how you can find actively feeding fish and catch more perch. Thanks for tuning in, Fish Lots. I'll see you out there on the water.